I know she's teaching in sixth grade uh, Romeo and Juliet next. And I knew that it would be very easy to come up with something Romeo and Juliet-esque in Minecraft. You know, it's appropriately gothic looking and the crypt and whatnot. So we, so we came up with this idea of possibly using that as the framework and then what could we do? And you and your awesome lighting idea. Yeah, so my roommate is Scott. He's an English teacher in Brooklyn and he teaches drama. But one of his difficulties is that he has an extremely tiny budget to teach drama, which means it's very difficult for him to teach things like costumes, lighting, props, all that. But what's amazing about Minecraft is that we have this infinite world that's like infinitely remixable and configurable. So combining little bits would let you can make control lighting. Using little bits can help you control the lighting or environment of a Minecraft. Uh, stage. And we like the idea of um, when the characters were alive, or actually this is the death scene, so they're only alive for a short time, um, but maybe it, it's lit up brightly to represent life, and then as they croak, uh, the, the lights go out. And I also like the idea of actualizing it physically, using the bits, um, and this appeals to differentiating education anyway, you know, like some kids are better at the virtual stuff and the programming stuff, and some kids are better at the building stuff. And The, the first time you play with little or play with Minecraft and you realize that the whole world is editable. And one of the cool things about little bits is that you realize that not just the whole Minecraft world is editable, but the whole real world is editable. And so if somehow we can use this collaboration to like extend the notion of the whole world is editable, you can make it. Like I feel like that's a really powerful thing to be able to teach.